Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Duck, and we are playing Stellaris on insane difficulty um, as the Collectors, playing with the newest DLC, Synthetic Dawn. Welcome back to our Max Crisis Strength game. It's been a while since I recorded the um, last couple of episodes. Um, a lot has happened. I'm going to talk about some of the feedback that I got. Um, apparently everyone is really happy that I actually managed to kick the butt of the Unbidden. Now there have been some calls for a screening fleet. But at this point, um, we're already m uh, massively over our force limit, and uh, screening fleet would take a lot um, of additional naval cap and not adding all that much of our fleet power. One, we have to look still sort of um, powerful to the other empire so that they don't attack me. Um, and two, our range strategy is working out really, really well. Like. Um, that whole range thing is is totally working in our favor. So I'm just going to keep that. The good thing is that um, with that uh, kind of battleship fleet that we currently have, we can basically do a lot of damage to the enemy before they even are in before they even in range. And that's what we want. The screening ships, yeah, they wouldn't they wouldn't help me all that much. Uh, same is kind of true for the weapons of the unbidden because their range is just um, way lower than w what we have. Um, our Giga Cannons can already start shooting at a uh, range of 120 plus the 20% that that Admiral gives us. Does this also increase it? No, that only gives fire rate. Well, that's that's still fine. Um, and then these can start shooting at 120 range. So all in all, that's actually working out for us pretty well. Now, we got to just on pause here. Um, the idea is that I, I'm actually going to try some hit and run maneuvers against this portal, uh, against this one. So I'm going to try to get into the system over here, maybe take that thing out. It is going to be a little bit tricky since we have no fine control over our fleet, but I could just jump in, do a hit and run, then get out of there again. Now, one thing that we could do, though... Um, uh, Chrome Defender, Chrome Warrior. What I could do is I could create a bare bones battleship. Um, I'm gonna call that design the Grinzel um, slash G-Man design. That's one of the dev developers of the Star Trek New Horizon mod, and he told me about that strategy. So I guess we're just gonna follow that one. Um, where we just build a very bare bones battleship and then because there are certain texts and edicts that reduce the upgrade cost but do not reduce the build cost you actually can save a bunch of minerals by just building bare bones battleships it takes quite a while to upgrade them then but on the other hand that is fine that is completely fine i guess we're going to keep the jump drive um but put that down put that down put that down so they are Really bare bones, 841. Um, right, we don't need that much power. Like, I could probably go and just slap an obsolete power generator on there. That's still okay. 761, yeah. So, we're going to have the Grinzel G Man design, and we're just going to start churning those out on Sildor. And then, if we need them, oh yeah, we'll also get another reduction. Very good, okay. Let's build like four of these over here. Derascodon, you can build a couple of them. One, two, three, four, five. We can, we can push out a lot of these. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you don't even have a spaceport. All right then. Why don't you have one? Have you been killed? Oh no, that's a new world. Okay, I've been colonizing these guys. I'm actually not sure if we really need to play the long game. Like, might not be a thing. But then on the other hand, um, might as well, I guess. Uh, what do we need? What do we need? Energy credits, I guess. So, ah, come on. Come on, I need to build multiples. God damn it. God damn it. I need to, I need, uh, to get back into this. Um, it's been a while since I last recorded. But yeah, I actually never thought we would really be able to do this. Just kick the unbidden out. Um, I wonder how it would have gone with one of the other endgame crises. Like, um, I would probably have more difficulties fighting fighting the robots. The contingency. That would probably be pretty bad for me. But so far, everything went fine, I'd say. We haven't, I mean, we've lost two planets, I think. Um, one fully built up planet. But it could have been much worse. Much, much worse. Alright, let's just drop our plants. 
Come on. Drop power plants. Yes. What else? I mean, we don't really need to build up these um, planets fully. I guess I can just leave it at that. Unac, you're fine. Start churning out some battleships. You are fine. Battleships is what we need. You, battleships. Because if we take losses in our hit and run missions, we kind of want to be able to um, make that up again. <laughs> I kind of want to take resources out of the sectors too. I guess I can't really do that right now. I am going to pull that out of the cruise cocoon sector now as much as I can. I guess we're just going to live with that. How is my Planetary fleet? Surface settlement established. Ah, we have another planet. God damn it. Very prime. Let's build a spaceport. Let's build a spaceport. Complete. That's at least going to help me. Okay. Oh yeah, and we're building mining stations here too. Hmm. I would. I would rather like to just um, put this to an end. So let's actually pull the fleet out. I think we're done building ships. Or almost. Almost actually. Wait. Complete. Wait a second. Uh, where are we? Construction complete. Yeah, okay, chill out. Chill in Kitha for now. We're still gonna wait until these have all joined up. We still have a couple chrome warriors trying to reach the fleet. Construction complete. And then we're gonna actually stop the fleet of be, uh, being a complete. ready point. Construction complete. Because that's not really what we need. Okay, yeah, looks like they're all done now with the building thing. Authority is just building G Mans. Okay then. Um, the ones that are readying right now will still continue to ready, which is fine, I think. And then we can just move into battle. Like 820, it's not bad, and it's only battleships. We're just going to jump in with the sole goal of jumping out again. Now, what would be really good is if we had a an admiral with the range and the trickster trait at the same time, but we don't have that. We don't have that. I could probably try to force getting a trickster, but having that combination of traits is what we really need. So, communications alert. Trade offer: energy credits for terraforming assets. Well, I take it. Have fun with it. Good luck. Good luck. Now, some of you have said that if I go and start attacking this place, the other AI empires might come in and help me. Hmm. I don't think they're really going to be that fast. Like, I don't think they can't they can get here in time. Um, the fleet of this federation has just gone home again, um, and the Chim League, Jonas's arrest and blessed mandate, and the Methans are fighting the Fallen Empire, the Organolox directors. So that's probably not a thing either. We have still we still have the Immors um, following the Collectathon. Those brave, brave people. I gotta say. I admire them extremely. What are you doing? Just hanging out in Kirth Valis. All right then. Merge into that fleet, you fool. One of the others are also just not gonna join. No, no, they should. Okay. Wait, 8.30, 8.32. I should probably give away some of the planets that I currently have. Hmm... Which ones do I have that I could just give away to the sector? Ferrum, maybe? What do I have in Ferrum? Fushu's Rest and Jerk Shangrim. Yeah, these are all fully built up spaceports. I don't even want to take those away from me. I guess we can live with uh, two systems over. Although it is 20%. I guess I cannot live with 20% over, so let's just give them... Now, there are two planets in the Ferrum system, and it doesn't really make all that much sense. I'm going to give you that one. And we're going to give you... Dargon is already in a sector. Going to give another one away. Tystra, maybe? That should do it. Yes, good. Tysta Prime, yeah, that's only one planet. All right, then. Looking good. Oh, yeah, and they're the first ones with um, zero fleet strength. And once we once we have enough of them, as many as we want, we're just going to go and destroy the... Uh, 
We're going to destroy the design and upgrade them to one of our current designs. It's going to be very expensive, but it's still going to save a bunch of minerals. Which is all the, all the thing that I need. Um, okay, Kitha. Oh yeah, you still have only the service umbilicals. Right. Hello. You can still build some. It's going to build five everywhere where we can. Can still build a lot more than these. Like if you, we're building them for half the price. Construction complete. Definitely saving some. All right. So there's our there's our full fleet. And uh, yeah, now it's only zero strength fleets that are coming up. So we're gonna move into Cathara, and we're actually gonna try if we can make the hit and run work. I mean, if it doesn't work, oh well. I'll survive. Our empire will survive, hopefully. But we've got to do something. Oh, these guys are actually moving out. Where are you going? Kethvalas. All right. Maybe I can chase these down beforehand. That would not be bad. Yeah, and they're returning. <laughs> All right, then. Maybe they're going to come after me when I'm in their space. That could be a thing. Wouldn't say no to that. How are the ring walls coming along? And these have all been fully uh, built up and optimized. Okay. Oh, man. Could upgrade this place. Construction Quite a bit. complete. Not sure if we need it, but might as well. I do not plan on, on dragging this out. I'd rather give this a speedy conclusion and move on to something else. Another series, maybe. Can we build a processing? Yeah, we can. Okay, good. Let's move Planetary forward. Procedure initiated. And we're settling another planet. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to thorough now. We also gain another cool sector system, which is good. Um, let's do another one. Don't think there's anything else that I that I want. Oh yeah, and our fleet strength has actually dropped because we're no longer in our own system. Now, let's jump in. Let's see how we deal with these guys. I mean, they have 3.4 million, but they don't have a lot of um, ships, all in all. Like, we have 300, over 300 ships in our fleet. These guys have, like, what do they have? This is, like, a fleet of 40. And this is, like, a fleet of 80, 50, yeah. About 160, Construction complete. I'd say. I can. Math sometimes. Um, Urum Secundus. You could also start building some Grinzels. I mean, depending on where their fleet goes, I might have to go after them. I don't think so. And we can always jump out. Stationary asset engaged. Right. Okay. So we're fighting that bloody thing. And all the while, our retreat tram is is already gonna tick down, while the fleet is on the way and shit. So the only thing that could be a problem for us is oh yeah and there's that that tiny fleet They're actually not moving their big fleet away that is interesting and they've been pulling those guys back hmm all right then we're just gonna destroy your anchor over here hope you don't mind sure that's not a problem for you <laughs> all right then you can actually see that this one station has a stupid amount of health as like about half, more than half of the hull points of my entire fleet. Okay, so they're coming. Guess the emos have come in. Yep, emos autocracy. Nice. Um, now, what could happen is if the other empires actually see that I'm attacking this, maybe they will come. No orders. Following, following murder of Lari. So they're actually not that far away. Maybe, maybe they'll come in. Hopefully. Come on, help me, you fools! I mean, they gotta, they gotta have some thoughts on what's gonna happen to them. Okay, that one, that thing is gone. Let's go to normal speed to make this a little bit more manageable. Um, also, should not forget to push out more battleships. I am expecting to lose a couple of them. Now, gotta be careful. So this is a void junction. This is a Void Conduit, another dimensional portal. Okay, what are you sitting on? Another dimensional portal. Do you have two of these or what? No, Void Conduit, 
void conduit, and then we have this, the void junction. Now, I wouldn't mind um, going off the void junction, maybe from that direction. Problem is that we might get range problems. Feels kind of creepy. Um, going for operations in very close vicinity to these guys. I could try to take out that 680 fleet if it's coming. Nah, no. It's coming and then it's going again. Right. Okay. Okay. Let's put that away. Don't need it for now. That big fleet is not moving. They're entirely stationary. I mean, I would probably keep my biggest fleet there too. Close to the portal. If that were the only place that could reinforce me. But still, it is kind of cowardly. Because they have like four times my fleet strength. Five times uh, nearly. <laughs> come at me, come on. Okay, they were going out. Uh, now they're coming back again. All right. I mean, if I can take um, some of their ships out. The only thing that would really be very nasty is... Come on, don't stop. You can see the thrusters firing. It's definitely taking some toll on my PC you know, performance-wise. Having to go for all those ships. Construction complete. Hmm. Right, well, they're not here. So I guess we're going to send our fleet towards that bloody thing now. Uh, and hopefully we can actually take it out um, with range. Um, this one has 1.6 million hull points. Really? Come on. Well, at least these guys have artillery stance, so we have we have a lot of range, so we should be able to reach this bloody thing, take it out, um, without even engaging their fleet. Maybe. Yeah, okay. So far, it looks good. That seems to be a ship, though. Yeah, we're attacking their construction ships now. Why not? And we're also engaging that smaller fleet, which is not a problem. Are they moving that big fleet in now, too? Yeah, okay, okay. Shit has hit the fan. Couple more days until we can retreat. I just gotta whittle them down. Like, if they, once they are in range, it becomes dangerous for me. Until they are in range, not so much. So, I guess we're just gonna lay low. Maybe even, might even be able to take out that fleet. Like, they're dropping. They're dropping really fast. That station, probably not going to be able to make a dent in it. I guess I'm going to flee once I'm above 800 strength, depending on how it goes. I mean, maybe that big fleet is dropping too. But we've got we to gotta reduce the amount of targets that we have in the system, so the focus firing on our fleets can really start. It's not a problem thus far. These guys are still not in range, but they're getting there. They're closing really quickly. Five days... Four days. We already lost 30k to this, but we also took out a 680k fleet of theirs almost completely. I'm definitely not going to jump out before these guys are not dead. Um, that station is almost gone too. Nice. Okay, take that. Okay, we're at 780 now. Yeah, station is gone. And that fleet should be gone too. Oh yeah, that's actually given us some firepower now that we're no longer inside their stupid auras, I guess. Okay, come on, kill these guys. They're right in front of your noses. I guess once we're below 300 battleships, I'm going to jump out. It's just one more cruiser. Come on, guys. Do it. Nope. Okay, right, yeah. And this is unsustainable. So we've got to retreat, like, right now. We lost four ships. Not a problem, though. I think we made... Good progress here. Um, destroyed 680 of their fleet strength. We also took out that anchor over here, and we took out that station over here. So that's gonna that's gonna take some time before they can actually repair that. Next time we're probably gonna try to come into the system from over here, and ideally sneak up on that station, take that one out, just so that we kind of reduce the amount of targets that we have. I only want that fleet, and... Ah, right, I mean, 
will help them become stronger by leveling up the Admiral. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just how it goes. Well, for now, I think I'm going to end it here after the first successful hit and run maneuver. We're going to be super weak while our fleet is in limbo, so that is a bit of a problem. But um, that's something that we have to live with, at least for now. So, yeah, for now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing. Um, even if the series ends, we're going to have more Stellaris content in the future. So if you want to see that, be my guest. Hope you join me next time. Bye-bye.